Hello and welcome to the show where someone has already died within the first couple of seconds of... We've not even got off the... We're technically further back from the grid than we were when we loaded in, but there we go. I don't know what they're up to this particular time. It's GTA 5! There's racing, there's a new car, the Sultan Classic is here. It is basically an old Subaru. There's a little bit of Evo in the front, but it's an old, old Subaru Brett, so what is going on in the car park? Yes, this is where we're going to start. There's a parking space over here. I would like that. Thank you very much. I don't know whether they were fighting over the space. It's my space now. I get the space. I should park. This seems like a perfectly sensible way to start a race, and no way is this going to go badly wrong. They're already looking to block the car park. Uh, well, we normally go at the one minute mark. This is going to be fun. Yep, that's going <laughs> to into a mess. Here we go. Just throw the car into that. That does the job. We're out. We're free. Uh, let us let us go racing. This particular circuit uh, is a rather technical one. Overtaking is difficult, uh, to say the least, around here. The car is a little bit oversteery. The couple of cars got connected down there. I've got a mega, mega slipstream pull. Not really got anywhere to go. You're going to have to bite your time. You're going to have to think about your passes quite carefully around this particular circuit. Apparently, when we get a little bit connected together, the cars go for a spin. I was going to say, oh, that's the wall. Did not want to turn in there. It's been a bit of an iffy, say a bit of iffy first lap as I end up in around, you know, the top five, top six places. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, this car doesn't seem too terrible on brief testing with the old, uh, the old collision physics. Oh, Ewan's not got that stopped at all. That's visiting somebody's house. They're not going to be too pleased. Oh, and this... <laughs> I'm guessing that didn't really go from very far from the Leon's going to try to sneak that around the outside. That's a brave one. I see, oh, we didn't get that far away from the from from the start of the race. Still got a Liam on the outside. You have to yield eventually. You're going to go side by side through here. I think I'm going to have to back out of that one. It's got too much speed for me to deal with. There, we're still going to try and stick the nose up the inside through the next corner. Possibly make that work. No, almost, almost got it. We still got plenty of time. This is a very very short lap around this. Around this circuit, Liam gets a big slide. We will sneak to the inside and make that one almost work. Now it's no, oh, don't want to be too wide. <laughs> it's so sketch. That's a sketchy corner at the best of times. Let alone too wide. Liam's struggling to get it slowed down. We'll cut back underneath. So overtaking is not the easiest around here. It's very rewarding when you do get it working. You can still have some quite good fun battles, as we are proving. Uh, Steve is slightly lagging up the wall. Becker has got to the front now. Of course nature of this circuit being a much, much shorter track, Slipstream uh, slipstream is still relatively effective, but catch-up is, is minimised. There aren't really any long straights to slow the vehicles down on, so you're going to have to work to potentially catch up to in Pega, or maybe if iffy corner. We're not actually as far back as I was expecting to be. Stevie's also got that slide. You know what? I like the tight line through that corner. I think we'll stick with that one. That seems to do the uh, seems to do the trick. That's two places in two laps, uh, so to speak. Now, don't get carried away with the brakes down this corner. So when you've got the big slipstream pull, it kind of goes downhill. And trying to get the trying to get the braking point right is not necessarily the easiest. We're on to lap number four of this one, up into second place, some Pegas sliding the car, I'm going to do a similar sort of thing. It's a little bit, I say a little bit more oversteery perhaps than, than I was expecting. I know we are asking them to do quite a lot on this fairly technical uh, circuit. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like a nice, a nice level of oversteer. It's not quite the twitchy, horrible mess. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get around the outside. There, <laughs> almost. Almost got back underneath. Can we go for another pass up the inside? No, Impeg has carried a lot of speed, actually, on the outside. Ended up not sliding the car around. And Impeg will actually pull a little... Oh, too much speed up there. <laughs> around. Around goes the white machine. And that will be... Uh, me to, to the lead. I say consider it. I guess we didn't get the worst. The worst of the messy start. Uh, it could have been... It could, could have been a much worse... Could have been a much worse beginning to this race. We're not miles away from the pack. I do love this chicane here as well. I I always am a big fan of fast, sort of fast flowing chicanes. And I like that you like throw the car from curb to curb around here. And the Sultan is good at that. I, again, as I said, it, it has a tiny bit of oversteer when pushed hard. It's not sort of twitchy, horrible mess as some cars have been. But uh, there is a little bit, it's also kind of a little bit lively in, in some places. It's a fun car to drive, actually. I can't really fault this one uh, particularly. It is very expensive, though. If I am going to fault it for something, it's the 1.7 million that it costs to buy. It's a lot. I would buy one of these. I quite like, I'm actually quite liking this car, but it's a lot of money. Uh, it's, that's so, I think it's 1.3 if you complete a heist or something. That's still far too much for 
for this car. Uh, we are starting to get caught a little bit. I mean, we always knew we were going to. We were going to have to defend. But you can defend around this circuit at the end of the day. There is, so there are ways to defend. We're going to take, I like that sort of shallower line through there. It, it stops the car from sliding around as much. We saw Brazen having a bit of a wobble on the exit there. Um, oh, Brazen's going to have a big slide up that hill as well. Make sure we get the braking point right on this final, final corner. Looks like we might have a bit of a three car uh, breakaway going on here as we head on to the seventh lap is uh, you're not really gonna be able to get a pass done through here there's not really too much of a concern now if you're really close on the bumper you might be able to get a slipstream pass into the chicane but it's difficult to only <laughs> get a bump that's also one way for it to go uh brazen actually put us back pointing the right way we still have the lead of the race as well but now we've got four cars in the group uh yeah it's a little bit too much of the old slipstream pull over there. Now that turned to be a little bit wider out of that corner. Oh, there's actually a bigger group of cars. Don't necessarily know if I want a big group of cars behind me. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. We're going to have a six-car battle for the lead, and I've had a bit of a bobble. It's just where the, where the elevation is there, that there's sort of a bump in the braking zone. If you carry a little too much speed, the bump makes sure that you're not going to make the corner, pretty much. Uh, we need just, just about get away with all of that. We're a smidge wide of the apex, but again, where are they going to find a way past you and manage to explode? I'm not quite... How did... Uh, did that fall off the bridge in the same way in Pega didn't just land upside down? Well done, Ewan, for managing to explode. Could have been... Would that have been timed a second or two earlier? That could have been later, yes. It could have been quite scary landing on me. I've still got to worry about Liam now having a look up the inside. Not quite. As I said, this is such a fast corner. Trying to get that right uh, is not the easiest. We don't have any of the oversteers some of the other cars have been have been dealing with there uh, we actually got quite a nice run out of that final corner so again liam's gotta try and figure out where you're gonna get a pass done i've just gotta not make any mistakes because the easiest way to get past the car ahead of you is if they make a mistake so we gotta just be you know perfect and everything around the lap club of the curb as much as we can get away with and then it's gonna be difficult for liam to find a way past just a little bit of a slide we're gonna look up the inside but then you have to go the long way around this next corner i'm not too fussed about covering all that's a great cutback the cars get a little bit connected through all of that and that's going to cost us both some time now we're going to bring in more cars to the group but we will lead through this next corner again and it's still safe enough i have to defend into this final corner but not too crazily got to watch for the exit Liam's trying to go for the cutback but it's the outside of turn one which doesn't quite work not long to go can we hold on or will just the sheer numbers in the uh and in the pack, will somebody find a way past? Again, we're far enough away through these chicanes to not have all that much trouble. Again, I'll leave a bit of space on the inside. In fact, Liam's not even close enough to have a look through that one. We will take the next couple of corners. No problem. We've got, a, <laughs> got a back marker ahead. That might actually help me if we can get some slipstream off the back of that car as we a spin further back. Yeah, we can get some draft off of that car. Oh, no, I bottomed out. We, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> it's just... Just bloody, I don't know how Liam got away with that. I, th I think, I don't know whether it was the elevation change, something, the front of my car just stopped steer steering through there. We've seen so many cars with, oh, that was a poor move. I was a little bit ambitious, I got a little bit of a toe uh, at the wrong time, and yeah, that's my bad. He straightened Liam up, he said, yeah, the, like, the front end, it just stopped steering all of a sudden, and I, I don't know why, I'm amazed we didn't fall off. That must be what happened to Impega. It makes sense, uh, the sudden just understeer you're not expecting. I've been fine flat out through there all of the previous laps. I'm trying to go back to my classic overtaking manoeuvre there. Oh, we've got the nose alongside but nowhere to go. There's a red car having a look. Don't get, I'm now a little bit nervous about going all <laughs> crazy through there. Now the red car's looking to dig outside. Problem is I've got to attack and defend all at once. Uh, there goes Danger Man. It will get, well, we'll get past a little bit but it's on a very wide line through turn one and this is it. The final lap. I've got to throw my car back up the inside here. It's a big slide from me. A <laughs> big slide from Liam as well. We've got to be in the right place at the right time. We've got to find a way past. Can't do anything into the chicane. It's not really. We've seen it not work so far. And I doubt I'm going to be changing that at this particular moment in time. Uh, will we... I mean, I know where I want to try and have a pass up the inside if we go for the tight line and hope. I've got mega speed through there. Liam actually defends cleverly through all of that. i got speed in the wrong place, I don't think. Unless... We can get the mega toe. Unless we can get the mega toe and have a big dive at the final corner. This time it's our turn to get the big oversteer. Liam's going to defend. Can I go around the outside? Can I cut back underneath? There's nothing. <laughs> I can't do anything. Oh, we're clear. We're clear of third place in the end. Just couldn't find a way past. Bugger. Bugger. One. One misstep. One little. One little mistake going on the bridge. One just getting caught out. As I said, I think. 
I don't know whether the bumper got caught or just hit under, got understeer at the wrong time. Just couldn't get it turned. I'm amazed we didn't lose more time and somehow Liam kept that on the road. That was a fantastic race. We get second uh, in the end. A danger man third, Crow fourth, and Pega uh, gets fifth out of Brazen, Hyper, Stevie, Whisker, and Invisible AK. Oh, yeah. Fun track. Very, very fun track. Very, very difficult to overtake around. Uh, but that does make for some interesting times. So, for our second race around here, we have got some slightly slower cars, shall we say. In general, the fail race rules are uh, slower, weirder cars tend to make for better racing. It might be a little bit safer, shall we say, <laughs> with this selection of compacts uh, than with the Sultan Classics, and I've <laughs> not had a good start. Christ. Uh, so, I'm um, being a host, I generally, oh, that's a lot of, I would say, cold rear tyre front-wheel drive oversteer, but I don't think GTA 5 simulates tyre temperature. I mean that would be impressive, but no, no that was just a lot of a lot of front wheel drive oversteer. It's gone from bad. To worse. Somehow starting on pole at this track, I've gone worse for the first lap than starting in the car park. I guess we all started in the car park and there's a big crash. But anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, we're gonna sneak up the inside of everybody perhaps through here. Oh, oh that's one car up the wall. <laughs> gonna, that's that, that's not an ideal line. That's not an ideal line at all. I'll eventually finish my train of thought. Uh, yes, being host, I start on pole every time. And normally I'll come out first or second. This panto goes for a spin around the first corner. Apparently this track's one of the more spectacular... Or say one of the, one of the ones... I guess I'm so far on the outside, I just lose a bunch of time towards the first corner. So we have a bit more work to do. There's some more spinning front-wheel drive cars around the place. I'm going to try and... I don't know how much I can do down here at the moment. Again, it's just be patient. They can go side by side through the chicane. And if one makes a mistake, pick up the pieces. It's don't make... Don't make any silly errors at this point. Look, any kind of uh, opportunities that are given to you. Can I get underneath here? Not going to quite have the drive. A Panto leads a bunch of blisters. We're probably going to see less. I guess we might see less uh, oversteer. Although blisters have, sh have shown so far that they can slide around. Uh, hopefully we'll have less bouncing the front off the floor or whatever it was caused my car issues. Ewan's almost in the houses for a second race in a row. Not just pulled it up in time. So that is a difficult braking zone at that point, especially if you've suddenly got slipstream because the cars don't want to slow down when they've got slipstream. Oh, there's a slidey gold car. Can I make the most of it? Again, there was a gap. We saw a gap. We went for it and Scotty is going to also be in that make the most of the opportunities that arise or throw the car through the chicane. That's my turn to get that a little bit more of a slide going on. Are we going to have... Yeah, it's just always you're looking for some somewhere. We can draw alongside. Scotty didn't quite make that pass stick either. Uh, but we can draw alongside. We're going to be sort of like keep cutting back. I've liked this pass with the Sultan. Oh, Brazen's gone off. Brazen. <laughs> so busy fighting my own battle. Brazen just wandered off. Well, this is now the fight for the lead. This is now important. Well, so it was important for second, but Brazen just got a load of understeer. I don't have bobbled it on a curb. That's not the assistance I needed through there, although I think things went worse for everybody else. Crow might make the most of all of that. Um, yeah, but <laughs> Brazen just... I don't know whether it's bobbled a curb or just pushed it too hard and got a load of understeer with the Panto. Uh, that's a gap that a car is not supposed to go down. Well, that's tw two races in a row where the lead has fallen off from some sort of understeer-related issues, and they're not quite given to be the lead in this one, but I'll take it. We are now yeah, back to fighting for the lead, although we do have a big-ish group of cars around here. I've said many times, two car battles are okay. More than two car battles is when it starts getting dangerous, and when it's five cars in a line, that is problems, we might be able to find... It's going to have to be the final corner, I think, here. We get a really good run, but it's, it's just the, the long, long way round. I might be able to cut back underneath. We were seeing this work with the Sultans. It may well work with the Ballista. The problem is you cut back underneath, you can draw alongside, and then it's the outside of turn one. And if we do that for too long, we're going to lose a place to the cars behind. Oh, Ewan's made a little mistake. That's the opportunity we needed. Keep putting the leader under pressure and hope they make a mistake, although I'm hoping Ewan's going to fall back into line through the chicane. Indeed. Uh, they will. That's uh, such a, such a difficult. Unless you are completely side by side, it's never really going to work as an overtaking uh, maneuver. Now it's my turn to do the defensive driving. As I said, it is quite possible uh, to to kind of defend around here. Although Yoon's got the nose alongside, will struggle to get the momentum up the hill. When you take that tighter line, you'll lose a little bit of speed on the exit. Uh, we're going to move across and make sure that we are in a decent defensive position course start defending we slow ourselves down i mean that's quite a wide exit we're going for there in fact they've all fought each other too much i'll take it uh, so we lead we lead a lap there's a little gap it's not much back to the cars behind we're not sliding around actually as we head towards it's not too not too bad or a gap head towards the chicane we're in the relative speaking clear i 
doubt it's going <laughs> to last. They will get organised, of course, with a couple of laps to go. Someone's going to get a good slipstream. In fact, when you're a little bit further back, if you're too close to the car ahead, you struggle to get a slipstream pull. When you're that little bit further back, that's when you get the bigger differences in speed, and where it's going to matter is here. This is the one place where it is going to matter. We'll be sneaky with the curbs as best I can, but this is always going to just pull uh, the frosty gold machine back into the battle. Don't think it's going to have a dive, although I've struggled to get my car stopped anyway through there. I was not quite wanting to go for that wide, but even if it does have a dive, it draws alongside, gets stuck, and we are on the inside for turn one. So, <laughs> yeah, unless you can get a big out drag moment uh, down towards the first corner you're going to have a real real tough time making that cutback pass work uh, bounce across the chicane it's still like this section even with the blister it's good fun probably like the like the drafter or any of the cars that fall over when they hit high curves would have problems there in normal cars in cars with normal okay physics probably not too bad that's a big line of vehicles and Ewan is much closer than he was last time around. Don't do what Brazen did. I was trying to get speed on the exit of that corner, and I see now how the pan I see how the Panto ended up off the road. I see, see how the Sultan ended up off the road in the first race, because I very nearly did both the same mistakes. I turned in a little bit too early. We had to sort of back out of that. Uh, now we've got some... <laughs> we've got a Frosty Gold car pretty much attached to the back of our blister. One more lap to survive. We survived up until now. How can we survive another one as more and more cars are joining in to the group? To the chicane we head. Is there going to be... Oh, no! Ewan got back of us, and around we go. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I don't know whether it, was a, whether, it was, whether it was pushed forward into that one or just a little bit too ambitious into there. Uh, it was, yeah, just got, it got caught a smidge alongside. Just enough to turn me, pretty much. This might have given Danger Man a win. Uh, in, in all of this, unless somebody can find a way past into the final quarter. I get a good slipstream tow, but it's just not going to be enough time to do anything about this. Uh, you're going to duck underneath. We're going to have the drag race towards the line. I'm hoping for some slipstream out wide. I don't know whether it's going to do much. My chances of third. We certainly can't take a victory. Ah, oh, it all went wrong at the end. It all went wrong at the end. Little disappointed. Who did actually win? That is a good question. Uh, you and got it in the end by tiny, tiny margins. Uh, half a second covered the top four in that one. Then it was five seconds back to <laughs> the next car. We had a good race. We had a very good race up at the front. Yeah, this is a fun track. The Solden Classic's pretty good. Shame it's so expensive. It's a nice enough car to drive. Can race pretty well together. Uh, it's a touch oversteery, and light contact can then give it a bit of an issue. But uh, yeah, I quite, I quite like it. This track is, is good fun. It's, it's tough overtaking, but uh, can make for some really quite entertaining entertaining races. That though is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. A massive thank you to Acrogasmic for building this uh, fantastic circuit. Until next time though, a uh, goodbye.